A vacuum leak in a freeze dryer can lead to poorly lyophilized samples. This video will make troubleshooting freeze dry vacuum leaks easy. LabConco freeze dry systems should reach a vacuum of 0.133 millibars within 10 minutes and should achieve an ultimate vacuum of 0.033 millibars within 18 hours. If the freeze dryer does not obtain a satisfactory vacuum, perform the following maintenance tests. Inspect gaskets for cracks or defects. Ensure each gasket is clean. Check the drain line for leaks and ensure the drain plug is installed and the tube is in good condition. Check all rubber vacuum tubing for signs of deterioration or cracking. Check all connections and make sure they are secure and leak tight. Check all sample valves on the drying chamber or manifold and ensure all valves are closed or in the vent position. Check that all fittings are tight and sealed properly against the chamber. Inspect valves for cracks or cuts. When checking the sample valves, pull as much vacuum as possible. When vacuum indication is displayed, rotate the valves and watch the gauge for any fluctuations. Fluctuations can indicate a potential vacuum leak in the valve. If the valve is in good condition, remove the valve Apply vacuum grease and reinstall the valve. Do not apply vacuum grease to the gaskets on a drying chamber sample valve. If a valve is the problem, remove the valve and stopper the hole with a rubber stopper. Continue this process for all of the valves. After the valves have been thoroughly checked, move to the vacuum pump. Inspect the oil and ensure it is clear and clean. If the oil looks cloudy or has any particulates, an oil change is required. Make sure the oil level in the pump is correct. Check vacuum hose connections from the pump to the freeze-dry system. If vacuum problems continue, a second vacuum gauge capable of reading 0.033 millibars may be required to determine if the vacuum pump is good. Isolate the pump by disconnecting the vacuum hose from the freeze-dry system. Insert the vacuum sensor from a secondary vacuum gauge into the end of the vacuum hose and observe the vacuum reading. Confirm that the pump is capable of achieving an ultimate vacuum less than 10 times 10 to the negative third millibars or approximately 10 microns. If the pump does not reach vacuum, it may need to be replaced or rebuilt. If you are still having vacuum issues, it's time to check the system components and collection chamber. Remove the drying chamber or manifold. Leave the gasket on and turn a large freeze-dry flask upside down to cover the connection port. Start the freeze dryer and observe the vacuum indication. If the vacuum indication is good, then the problem is in the drying chamber and you should return to the first part of this video. To check the pump and the connections from the pump to the vacuum tube, follow these steps. Using a rubber stopper, plug the drain hole. This test will check the collection chamber integrity and connections. Fill the collection chamber with approximately 2 inches of water, enough to cover all fittings. Replace the collection chamber lid and turn on the vacuum pump. On the 1 liter, 2.5 liter, and 4.5 liter models, place the O-ring over the hole and invert a 600 milliliter flask over the O-ring. Allow the vacuum pump to run for approximately 5 to 10 seconds. If the vacuum pump is left on, the water will begin to boil and the test results will not be correct. Look inside the chamber for any bubbling while the pump is running and after shutting the pump off. Remove all of the 5 16 hex screws so that you can remove the back panel to check the vacuum sensor and connections inside of the freeze dryer. 
check the stainless steel clamps and the white plastic pinch clamps. Remove the front panel by unscrewing the three hex nuts. Lower the control panel. And unplug the vacuum sensor. Check the vacuum sensor. Using a multimeter, verify the resistance is between 6.5 and 9.5 kilo ohms. If these steps do not stop the vacuum leak, please call Lab Conco Product Service at 800-821-5525.